How's it going guys and welcome back to the vlog. So we are heading into town going to the shop actually and um, because we need to buy some stuff well something so in the last episode we spoke sort of at the end about we need some good money. So what I did is I phoned around a little bit and asked if anyone had like a decent sized job and obviously one of the people that I phoned was Jimmy and unfortunately he didn't have a good job for us where we can make some decent money but he did say that he's got a friend that's got a pretty good sized piece of land and they do forestry out there and he said that he'll phone him and see if he needs some workers so he came back to me and said that the guy how they sort of operate is people who have their own equipment and that's a big catch is you need your own equipment can sort of go out there and you can basically cut down some of the trees work them and everything and then take them into their mill and you'll get paid per log so a pretty good deal actually um let me park here so we'll get paid per log and he said that they do have some shortage of guys at the moment so um we're free to go and do that if we want to and the pay is decent so we are going to do that but we need some equipment so first things first is chainsaw we need a chainsaw steel huskivana um what's that john john sarid mccullough i have no idea how to pronounce that huskivana let's go huskivana um right so chainsaw we have got tractor we have got what we don't have is something to sort of move the logs with but um oh goodness me that was a thousand dollars i didn't even check that um anyways we're okay we're fine jimmy did say that his neighbor actually is selling an old trailer so it's not a logging trailer it's just a sort of like a flatbed sort of trailer um it is an old trailer and the guy wants a thousand dollars for it jimmy says it's probably not worth a thousand but we can have a look at it and see so it is apparently some sort of a homemade job so we're gonna head out and have a look at this trailer see how big it is see if it'll actually be useful the thing is I'm not too bothered about the size really because we don't have a front loader on this tractor so we can't lift anything huge we're gonna have to cut everything into smaller pieces and manually handle them onto the trailer so as long as we don't have to do a million trips up and down it'll be okay if it's not too big so I think this is the property here and um, Yep, there's a trailer there. Probably that one. Oh. Is this a guy? Probably not. He knows we're coming. Oh. Yeah, maybe it is. Right, okay. Um. It's a bit weird. Weird behavior. Uh, right. We'll see. Maybe it is him. Let's see. So I want to have a look at this thing. It doesn't look huge. Um. Hello? No? No. Okay. Well, anyways. So, this is the trailer. I don't know if this is just a walkthrough. That's confusing, actually. Anyways, I guess that's not the guy, because the guy knows that we're coming. Not bad. I, again, I... Hmm. I kind of agree with Jimmy. I don't know if this thing is worth a thousand dollars. It's... It's okay. I mean, it'll do the job, but a thousand dollars is a lot for that. But... Anyway, let's let's maybe have a chat to the guy and, and see what's happening. All right, so um, unfortunately the guy was firm on a thousand dollars, but I went ahead and made the deal because we don't really have another option right now, and I think we can make some decent money out of this whole logging deal. So we just sort of had to do it, and. I mean, I don't know how much we're actually going to get paid for this logging deal, but apparently it's not bad at all. It's kind of worth doing. So, we're going to get this hooked up. There we are. Beautiful. And, um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to head out to this place and see what it's all about. So, it's sort of late-ish in the day. Um, I actually just picked up this vlog from where we left off on the previous one. And because there was still a lot of daylight left. So, um, yeah, it's... It's worth it. Anyways, um, Jimmy, not much going on here by the looks of it. No. Hmm. 
Anyways, so yeah, apparently we just carry on with this road, head over sort of the interstate, and yeah, doesn't look like Jim is doing much at the moment. And um, yeah, just carry on with this road, and we'll eventually head into some sort of a forestry area, and the mall should be there, and we'll meet up with the guy there. So um, yeah, let's do that. Right, so I think, I think this is the place. And um, we drove up here a while back, and I mentioned that this place looks like a sawmill. Is this a sawmill? Could be. Um, let's have a look. Uh, Larson's Livestock Auctions. Oh, Larson's Loyal Livestock. Nope, not, not the place. Okay. Um, so, Jimmy did say that it's on this road. And the guy that we're looking for is Miller? James Miller. Hmm. Right, maybe it's further on. Let's have a look. Oh, this is a steep hill. Luckily, we're empty. I don't think this tractor would make it up this hill loaded. Oh, here we go. Miller's Sawmill. Fantastic. So, obviously, this is the place then. Looks like some offices here. Beautiful. All right. We'll just park here. Let's go have a chat. See if we can get a job. I'm guessing over here. Right. All right, so I had a good chat there with James. Friendly guy, very, very nice guy. So he said that oh, over the road there, um, I'm guessing it's that, we can head in there and basically cut down anything in there. And whatever we bring back, we'll get paid for. So apparently we take it behind this building, down, down that road. So um, yeah, we'll figure it out. And we'll see in terms of payment. He says that sort of varies. Um, it gets weighed and checked for quality and all of that. So, um, yeah, we'll see. It'll be sort of a per load basis. But it sounds okay. It sounds decent. So, um, yeah, but very, very friendly guy. James Miller. Right. So, oh, goodness me, I nearly killed you. My guy. Woo. Right, okay. So, um, a little road in here. Let's, let's maybe just start with something small. So you see, we can sort of do whatever we want. Um, anything in here goes except for like the really, really small ones like that. But um, like this, I mean, we could go for something like that, but we'll be here forever. I mean, we are here to make some money. So should we just go for it? Or should we go for something small like that? I mean, let's just go for it. I mean, why not? Let's, um, here we go. Timber! Well, that didn't work. That thing's perfectly balanced. Goodness me. Right, let's try that again. Cut a bit of a wedge out of it. Two tons this thing is. Timber! Oh, no, 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 not that way. No, the trailer. Ooh. Right. Um, that was very, very, very close to being really bad. Really bad. I, I generally thought it was going to tip that side, but... Um, Right, so we very, very nearly destroyed our trailer, which we need for this job, which would have been, well, less than ideal, I would say, but, um, anyways, um, let's just forget about that for a moment, and, um, we'll get to work here. My, that, my, my heart literally stopped for a moment there. Genuinely stopped. My goodness, that would have been so bad. So, so, so bad. I don't know what we would have done then. Have to walk with each piece over the road and sell it manually. Goodness, that... Oh. Anyways, um, we're here now. Um, lesson learned. Luckily, we got away with that one. So, um, yeah, moving forward. 
I'll I'll put the tractor a little bit further away from whatever we are cutting down because that would not be ideal. But anyway, um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick the GoPro on and we are gonna time lapse this because I don't think you guys want to sit here watching me do this for an hour. So um, yeah, we're gonna do that. Jump into a time lapse and we'll get some wood cuts and I'll see you guys when we do our first sell of our load of timber, I guess. So um, yeah, for now, sit back, relax and enjoy. Alright, so we have got our first load and hopefully everything actually stays on there because my packing skills was, well, less than perfect, I'll be honest. Um, anyways, apparently we go down here and we should be able to drop it off somewhere, I guess it's here. Let's have a look. We park in there. Beautiful. Woo, fantastic. There we go. And we got paid $1,715 for that. Now, that, that is some money. I mean, on its own, it's not much. But for the time it took, we can really make some good money here today, which would be fantastic. And I mean, the offer is open, so we can come back anytime we want. Which is brilliant. I mean, this is fantastic. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a few loads here. And I'll do that off camera just because it's not the most in interesting thing to do. And then we'll come back when I'm maybe taking the last load out. And um, yeah, then we'll see, see how it went and where we are standing in terms of money. And then we'll see what sort of our options are going forward from here. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I have done a few loads. Not many, but a few. And we've been doing okay money-wise. So our money is quite a bit less than what it should be. Um, because this is going to be our last load for today at least. Um, the agency phoned and asked if I wanted to do a fertilizer job. To which I said yes. Um, but... The equipment is provided, but the fertilizer is not. So I phoned the shop and I ordered two bags, so two tons of fertilizer, which is sitting there, and, and I've already paid for it. So that is why we've got less money than we should have at the moment. And so, yeah, don't panic. We are okay. And, right, let's take these belts off. This is our, uh, say our final load. So, um, yeah, we've been doing okay. So that's another $1,749, which is fantastic. Um, and yeah, we're going to head back in to the shop, actually, because I asked them if... Um, oh, what's the way out? I think it's that way. Um, I asked them if they could leave the equipment at the shop so that I can just pick it up there because I have to get the fertilizer anyway and it was fine so someone took it over there and yeah we're gonna head over there now and collect it so um I'll see you guys there yeah, all right so that was a bit of a drive um, this thing is not exactly quick but we're coming up to the shop and I can see our bags over there which is good and I'm guessing that is the equipment over there. So that's good. Right. We are going to leave that there. And our trailer worked really, really well. I mean, it's it's tiny-ish, but it's not too bad. Right. Um, this, I think... I think Jimmy actually has one of these. 
very, very similar at least. So, um, yeah, pretty interesting. I don't think this job is for Jimmy. Um, obviously, this being a job through the agency, I don't know whose farm this is or whose equipment this is or anything like that. So, um, but I'm guessing this is not um, Jimmy's tractor because um, I'm pretty sure I saw his standing at his farm. So, um, but yeah, I think he's got something like this. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but um, I think it's somewhat similar. Anyways, so the farm that we're heading to apparently is not a huge field. Um, I think, I think two tons of fertilizer will be enough by the sounds of it. We can always come back and get some more if we need to. And um, yeah, money-wise, we are doing pretty well, I would say. I'm a bit more comfortable again. Um, I was definitely, definitely a little bit uncomfortable there in terms of our money. But yeah, yeah, even from here, I can see Jimmy's tractor standing in the shed there. So definitely not his. Um, anyway, I don't think he would have gone through the agency if he knew he wanted to get someone to do the job. He probably would have just phoned us directly, I would think. Anyway, so we're going down here and then should be an entryway on the right hand side after this bridge and that should take us directly to the field this is a very nice area very very nice okay are we in here no next one maybe and um, in here i think it is yep this seems to be it so um what are they growing here? Cotton. Very nice. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so we are going to jump into a time lapse and we are going to get this field fertilized. So um, for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy. so that is job done and that didn't take too long at all and it was a very enjoyable job actually and that is a beautiful beautiful part of this area it is so nice i would love to buy a piece of land out there at some point but um yeah we'll have to wait a little bit for that one anyway so the tractor and the spreader we're just gonna leave here where we found it and we will get refunded for the fertilizer that's left in the trailer. So that is fine. And it also turns out we would have only needed one bag. Um, in fact, we only used about half, half a bag of fertilizer. And um, that is a really nice piece of equipment, actually. Very, very nice tractor. Anyways, so we don't really have anything to do right now. So we are going to head home. And we'll take the trailer home and find a find a spot for that. We don't really have much in terms of space to put things over at the house, but um, we'll we'll get it sorted out. But anyway, we're gonna drive up there and get this all put away. And oh, I need to before I go, I need to notify the agency real quick that we completed the job so that we can get paid. So. I'm going to do that and I'll see you guys back at the house. Alright, so we're just coming up to the house here and we did get paid and we are over $10,000, which is fantastic. So we got about $4,800 out of that, but it wasn't actually that much because we got reimbursed over $3,000 for the fertilizer that we bought. So um, the job didn't actually pay that much. It just seems like it paid a lot. Um, right, the trailer. We can probably just park it over there. Um, let's just sort of reverse it into there. Can just live there for now. I would say. I don't know how often we're going to use that. 
But yeah, that's his new new home. All right, tractor we can leave here. That's good. And there we are. So we've got a. We'll need to find a better place to put that. Um, probably need to find a better place to put that or mow that down. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. But anyway, we probably need a better place to put the tractor as well. I don't really want to build anything here because we're only renting. Um, so we'll just sort of deal with it for now. But I would say that was a pretty successful day. Um, we made some really good money. Um, we have the logging to fall back on now. If we run out of money, we can head over there with the trailer and we can make a bit of money, which would be fantastic. And we've got a bit of money in the bank now, so we can possibly look at some more equipment. And uh, maybe a cedar or something like that. Because I do think we're going to try and put some winter wheat into the field over there. That is the plan for now. But anyway, we will look into that possibly in the next episode. So we're going to leave it there for today, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you all next time.